Okay, I just made the snap decision to give up coffee. I think I'm developing an eye twitch. I'm just gonna take a little nap. I will slit your throat. Here's the thing, I think I may be addicted to caffeine. It's time for me to level up because I've had numerous doctors tell me to give up coffee. Now I'm here just white knuckling it. Because why? Because why? Because it's not so good and it's so tasty. I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna start tomorrow. No, I'm going to. That's why I made this vlog. I'm going to not drink coffee tomorrow. Here we go. What's the point? 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 I don't know. Okay, actually, I do know. Here's the thing. In my heart of hearts, I know that I am less functional without coffee, and that worries me. Think about it. In the U.S., coffee is extremely accessible. It's on every street corner. It's shoehorned into gas stations. Hell, even at Trader Joe's, they hand you a little cup of caffeine just in case you lose your mojo when you're trying to figure out whether or not Trader Joe and Trader Giotto are the same person, or maybe they're just friends. What I'm trying to say is it's not like I'll be without coffee anytime soon. At least I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Global warming, ah. What if I'm different on coffee. Cue montage. You see, I met Joe when I was 15. I was a child back then, and he knew so much more about the world. At first, I couldn't handle him. He was too sharp, too acidic. But then he showed me he could change, be a different man, spice things up maybe, be sweet, milk it for all it's worth. We would cafe, ole, all day, if you know what I mean and this went on for years. He saw me through the late nights in undergrad to the early mornings of adulthood. It wasn't until recently when I started shitting my brains out every morning that I realized I didn't know who I was without him. Who am I? 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 Well, this is what we're doing this week. I found the suspiciously sexy and healthy looking beverage on my Instagram called Mud Water, and I'm gonna use that as a coffee substitute. What's that? You're not getting highly erotic vibes from this Instagram? Let me just introduce you to a little bit of what they have to say. You can't be neutral on a moving train. Difficulty is what wakes up genius. Uh, just as the ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into the water, the actions of an individual can have far-reaching effects. Oh man, this shit is my weakness. If this Instagram and product were a man, he'd live in Brooklyn, he'd have a tattoo of his mom's heartbeat on his bicep, and he would work at some sustainability startup. This drink feels like a stressful man, but you know what? I bought it. What are you gonna do? They won. But anyway, this mud water has in it masala chai, which is black tea, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper, cacao, and masala chai is a type of black tea that they drink all around the world. Mudwater advertises that this masala chai has about a seventh of the amount of the caffeine that's in a normal cup of coffee. Also, it has lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, and reishi, and all of those are adaptogen mushrooms. Adaptogen mushrooms are a non-toxic substance. They are called adaptogens because of their unique ability to adapt their function according to the specific needs of the body. Now, I will say there's enough scientific research to effectively prove all of these claims, but there have been a lot of positive reports in some niche scientific journals, and hell, they've been used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years, and that ain't nothing. Anyways, anyways, we're having fun here. Okay, we're not trying to spark some kind of huge debate about Western versus Eastern medicine. A bitch is just trying to see if she's a better person without coffee. Here are some ground rules. Get it? Rule number one. Absolutely no coffee for five days. Zero, zilch, nada, no coffee. Number two, track sleeping habits. Number three, will I be able to spend less time in the bathroom in the morning? Because I would like that part of my life back. Number four, track withdrawal symptoms. How addicted am I? Number four, am I better? And in this case, Am I less moody and do I have more energy? These are the parts of my life that I think coffee is really affecting. So if I notice any drastic difference, then I will assess if Joe stays. For real this time. Oh, God. don't look at me like that. Good morning. I feel I try. By the way, I'm just showing you all of this 
all of this. All of this garbage. Because I could not run a channel phrased, but better, if I don't show you the messy parts as well. My roommate Ross made a healthy pot of coffee and I could smell it from my bedroom. I just wanna give myself a coffee facial, inhale it through my nose into the brain so that I can get rid of this headache and feel like human again. And that is how you know that you may have a caffeine addiction because it is 11 o'clock, I slept perfectly fine throughout the night last night and I still wake up feeling like garbage until I have coffee. So, mud water. I do like that they put the directions on the box label. It says take the tablespoon and drop in whatever, drop it into hot water. <laughs> Take the tablespoon, drop it in whatever, put it into whatever you feel like, imbibe it. Stir that magic powder up real well before enjoying it like the legend you are. Wow. They're jumping to a lot of conclusions right now. It comes with this handy dandy whip spoon, which I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but I'm going to. Great news, I figured it out, watch. I've had two cups of this mud water situation mostly because I enjoy frothing it. It tastes fine. <laughs> I'm used to bitter. Like I want my coffee to be a tad bit abusive. And so this is a little milder. It tastes like cinnamon water, to be honest with you. There's a lot of like powder flavor. Cause as you can see, it gets a little grindy at the bottom. But that said, I haven't had coffee this whole day and it's mid afternoon. I am fully anticipated to feel like garbage, but I don't. I feel awake, not headachy. I took the entire day off and I'm going to do what I do best, which is called a stress clean. First day, I'll give it eight out of 10. We'll see how I feel in a couple hours. Good morning. It is day two of the no coffee experiment. Yes, yesterday I cleaned the house all day. Yes, you were there. And I had normal energy levels. Pretty spell sustained throughout the entire day. Yes, you were there. It was very good. Then around like 10.30, I got super tired and just put myself to bed. Like a little baby. Um, my roommate has already made a piping hot pot coffee and I can smell it. And I want it, Mars. I know, I want it. Okay, well. Something that was remarkable to me, excuse me, I'm vlogging, was I did not have any symptoms of withdrawal because I've given up coffee twice before and the symptoms of caffeine addiction and withdrawal are very real and I experienced them acutely. Okay, so you see, I was beginning to really lie to myself about how many cups of coffee I was actually drinking a day. You know, like I do this um, this really funny joke where I, I pour myself a cup of coffee and then I only drink half of it. And then I'm like, ooh, I need to warm up. And then I just go fill it up another half and then rinse and repeat. I'd wager that this toxic cycle has me at about four to five cups of coffee a day. That's a lot of caffeine. That's like 200 milligrams per cup. That's like a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day. But the lies, they don't stop there, folks. I'd lie, straight up lie to medical professionals. Oh yes, I'm cutting back. Lie. Definitely noticing that I'm sleeping better when I don't drink coffee. Also lie. I'm matching every cup of coffee with eight ounces of water. Lies, lies. Everywhere you go, lies. Okay, it is Monday morning. I could really use a cup of coffee. This is my vlog. I'm also running pretty late. <laughs> I've done so much today. It's 3.20 and usually I am ready to pass out by now and I don't feel like I wanna die. This is great news. This is great news because there's so much of life that happens after 2 p.m. Look at me now. I'm, I'm saying two syllable words and it's 3.20. This is very exciting. Y'all, yeah. y'all, yeah. this mud water, is a fuck boy. I know one when I see one. Ooh, trust me, I've been around the block before, sister. <laughs> okay, well maybe he's not a fuck boy, maybe he's just an FWB. He's a solid FWB. Like he's fine, but he's not coffee. You know what I will give him? He's up front. But the consistency is grainy. It's almost like a Swiss Miss packet of hot chocolate. He, he tells you at the very beginning, it's muddy water. I think that this mud water 
is preventing my withdrawal symptoms, but not in the way you think, not because of the adaptogens. Like I said earlier, this bitch right here has masala chai. I did my research, AKA, I typed about 27 characters into the Google search bar and found out that normal masala chai has about 67 milligrams of caffeine in it. Now, a cup of coffee has about 200. I'm not good at math, but my phone calculator told me that that's not a seventh. Fuck boy. Just saying. I think more companies need to be aware of when their consumers are reading their copy. Mudwater is very nice to say like, the legend you are. That's what they write on all their instructions. But I'm reading that at seven in the morning. I do not feel like a legend. It feels very patronizing. Just my morning thoughts. Pat. You do know I'm not allowed to drink coffee this week and I'm literally vlogging about. I will slit your throat. I know where you sleep. I'm just gonna take a little nap. It's uh, my usual nap time. It's just 20 minutes, not 40, just 20 minutes. To be fair, I wasn't gonna nap. I didn't really feel that tired. But then I said hello to Mars and he started leaning against me. So this is Mars's fault. So since we've all started sheltering in place in America, I have become a giant toddler who pays rent. Meaning that I have implemented nap times for myself during the day. Ooh, yes I have. Mm -hmm. I slack coworkers telling them that I'm running an errand or shooting something for an hour. Do I then go to bed later? No. Do I then wake up earlier? Also no. So what I figured out is that I have effectively replaced my driving time with nap time. What I was hoping from this challenge is that I would realize that I had such an influx of caffeine in my system that once I cut it out, I would have more restful sleep at night, thus not really needing my nap times during the day later. But instead, what I've discovered is I have more restful naps. The moral of the story is don't expect me to text you back between the hours of three to four because I'll be busy running an errand. It's been officially five days since I've given up coffee. Also, because this is the fifth day, I'm actually here wondering like, am I really going to keep this up? You know, like I know I'm making my therapist and my acupuncturist really happy. And sure, my sleep schedule is way more, let us say temperate. It's way more chill, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this up for real, for real. Like, America runs on Duncan, y'all. Like, it's it's real. Today's the day where I'm really feeling the psychological effects. I'd really be like that, right? Like, I really just continue on my day and I don't drink this liquid drug. So here's the kicker, y'all. My digestion has been a lot happier with me since I made the switch. I am absolutely not gonna go into the nitty gritty of this with y'all just because I believe in the power of the human imagination. Also, that's not talk for YouTube. That's talk for my OnlyFans. Just kidding. I'm a godly woman. I only discuss my bowel movements with Patrick. Everyone knows that sometimes coffee can give you the craps and with age and maturity, that can start to feel less good. This, ladies, and the four gentlemen who watch this channel. What up, dad? Is the reason why I'm ending this video on a good old American compromise. One cup, one cup, one single cup of Joe in the morning. And then the rest I will be substituting with mud water until I run out of the subscription that I signed up for. I see the benefits of cutting down on Java, I do, but not enough to outweigh how much I absolutely adore coffee. Like to be honest with y'all, I don't know if you can effectively kick a habit in five days. Case in point, so I've done six days, but I will be returning to Joe imminently. But to a certain extent, and trust me, this conversation is gonna go a little off the rails for a second. I believe that our American capitalistic society kind of pushes us to drink coffee. Caffeine and coffee is literally everywhere you go. Just think about it, the more coffee we drink, the more time we are awake, working, producing, consuming, shopping, giving, taking back into the capitalistic model. Yes, yes, I know that there are plenty of people who participate in capitalism who don't drink coffee, but it just makes it even harder for the people who's trying to kick the habit to do actually do it. And for that, 
I'm grateful for mud water. I find it's more substantive than black tea. It makes me feel good. And you know what? It's close enough to coffee that it helps me dial back on my caffeine intake. Today is day six. I still haven't had coffee. I'm gonna see how long this rolls. You can follow me on Instagram at devlytle. Keep up with this or if I fall victim to Joe and his wily ways again. Thanks so much for joining me again. I love you all so very much. All right, I'll see you next week. Maybe, I don't know if, I, if they're lying necessarily. Maybe their masala chai has less caffeine than normal masala chai. Fuck it, they're lying. Fuck it, they may be lying. Obviously. Also, sponsor me, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what wakes me up in the morning? Cash. <laughs>